those are some pretty satisfying clicks. Uh, as you can see, I'm back home. Uh, I spent Christmas and stuff with my family back home in Florida. And while I was there, you guys saw that I had the opportunity to make a video on the Starlight 12 Phantom that I unfortunately was not able to get. I'm not super bummed out about it because the main reason I wanted it in the first place was just to cover it uh, on the channel. I still have my Ninja Air 58 and my favorite, uh, the Ultralight 2, which I am very happy with. And if I do have the opportunity to get a small Starlight 12 Phantom or whatever the future mouse that they drop is, then uh, I'll be happy being able to get it as well. Now looking at it, someone did mention that the Ninja Air 58 was considered a large mouse, and I do think this one is actually bigger. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and agree with the person that said that since I was not able to do a side-by-side -side comparison, but even holding it in my hand, the Starlight 12 did feel smaller in my hand. Anyway, this video is going to be about a question I've been asked a few times in the past will a wireless mouse work on ps5 and i didn't know how to answer that before because i never tried it myself and obviously this is going to vary from mouse to mouse i'm not going to just say this is a universal answer to everyone yes the starlight 12 phantom is a wireless mouse and yes it did work on the ps5 but that does not mean everyone's wireless mouse is going to work on the ps5 so the way it worked is we plugged in the wireless receiver to the ps5 and then the mouse automatically connected the same way it would on the PC. The reason I'm pointing that out specifically is because I know a lot of people might have weird mice situations where they don't have a dongle that plugs into the console and they might have a Bluetooth mouse and will try to plug in their mouse and connect through Bluetooth. The way that I tested this was not through Bluetooth. I used the Starlight, uh, the Starlight's wireless receiver to connect to the mouse and it just popped up as a mouse on the PlayStation. When I went to settings, I didn't have to go into the Bluetooth accessories or anything like that. It just popped up where it normally would as if I was using a wired mouse. Pretty simple, we turn on the mouse, we plugged in the dongle to the PlayStation and we automatically were able to connect and play with the mouse. This was a super last minute test because I was leaving literally that night when I was able to try this, but I was able to play a few matches of Call of Duty with the mouse wirelessly and it felt amazing. It felt just as good as if I was using it wired. There was no input delay. I was playing at 120 uh, hertz. There was no latency or any weird wireless communication issue or anything like that. It worked seamlessly. And I recommend if you guys are using both a PC and a PS5 and are switching back and forth, a wireless mouse is actually pretty convenient. And I'm thinking about eventually getting one myself. Maybe if it's not the Starlight Phantom, it'll be something else but it is something worth having so you're not constantly switching a cable back and forth. I did enjoy using the Starlight on the PS5 even though I used it only for a short amount of time, but I would recommend it to anyone or anyone that is able to connect a wireless mouse to their PS5 to go ahead and try it. Uh, like I said, it might not work for everyone, but I'm assuming if you have a dongle and it works on your PC, then it's probably gonna work on your PS5. If it's a Bluetooth connection, I don't know anything about that. I will not talk about any Bluetooth connections or if you're asking in the comments, sometimes people like to ask me, does this particular mouse work or does this one work? I'm clarifying it over and over again in this video. I don't know if your mouse is gonna work, but my experience with the Starlight and using a wireless receiver was that it did in fact work and it worked really well. So that's that. You can use a wireless mouse on your PlayStation. If you're looking for a Starlight 12, or a uh, final mouse, you're gonna have to go on eBay or StockX to find those, or pay attention to Twitter, maybe they'll redrop and you'll get lucky like my brother did. If not, then you're gonna have to go with a different wireless mouse. I'm gonna probably look into the Model O minus, and if I do end up getting one, I'll make a video on that, on the mouse itself, and if it works on PlayStation as well. If it's not that one, it'll be a wireless mouse at some point that I will cover more in depth with and test it on PlayStation. We'll be testing other mice in the future on PlayStation, on PC, and so on. Since I did get the chance to use the Starlight, I didn't want to leave the majority of you who are console players in the dark, and I wanted to let you guys know that the amazing, probably best mouse that I've ever used uh, works just as good on a console, which is a big green light. It's good news. It's a great awesome so if you are able to get this mouse or if you're able to get a wireless mouse that you really like to work on the ps5 i strongly recommend it uh but that was my experience with the starlight hopefully this video helps some of you guys out that are looking into wireless mouse and working on the ps5 or if you were just curious to see if the final mouse itself would work on the ps5 which i didn't have a doubt that it would since i have used the air 58 and the ultralight 2 on my ps5 in the past uh, this just confirmed that you can use the wireless version of, or the wireless final mouse on the PS5 as well. 
Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one.